What is going on guys? Welcome to a brand new video. Welcome back to the channel. It's me. It's Dev. We're here. Happy Tuesday, Mr. Robot Episode 3, Season 2. We're here. I'm glad to be back. Last on, we ended the double premiere, I should say. You know, I know I didn't do all in one video or all in one day, but it was a good premiere. It was. So I'm excited to see what they do with this season. I mean, we have Darlene leading the charge at F Society. Elliot's trying to stay in a routine, a rhythm to keep himself sane. But once you keep repeating the same things over and over again, looking for different results that still don't happen, you are officially insane. So that's kind of what Elliot's going through right now. And Mr. Robot's trying to take over. Elliot really wants to know where Tyrell is. I want to know where Tyrell is. Is Tyrell even a real person? I don't know. But we will find out, ladies and gentlemen. Angela, she's uh, she's dealing with people at Evil Corp. The top dogs. The top Gs at Evil Corp. So the things are getting interesting. Capitalism, is it going to go down? Is the whole power... Sh the, 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 the the power in America in society is it gonna, it's gonna fall? Is it gonna save itself? Gideon's dead. Fucking Gideon, dude! I couldn't believe Gideon died. I was like, what? How do you kill Gideon? He's like one of the best characters. Like he's like one of the most sane, nice dudes who is unfortunately being gaslit into this company and just being scapegoated and i'm just throwing words out there right now but he's he's too innocent and it sucks it truly does suck for 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 that man it's unfortunate to say the least um so we'll see what happens joanna tyrell's girl has a dude she's secretly with uh but she got a phone in the mail or on her doorstep it could be tyrell who knows who knows i'm i'm enjoying the show i have a feeling this this season's gonna be really really slower paced but i'm not gonna say in a bad idea in a bad way because you could still do slower paced seasons and do a, a more of a character study you know what i mean even though that's kind of what this whole show is is just a character study so nonetheless Happy Tuesday, and let's get into Mr. Robot Season 2, Episode 3. In 3, 2, 1. I'm trying to tell you, but you don't listen. That's the problem with your generation. Too ADD to really take in this world. All right, all right. True. Corner, uh -huh. the biggest attraction out here in Coney Island. And one year rumor has it, the husband wakes up one Christmas morning. It's a creepy ass. But one time in 86, she got so lick it up. She accidentally fell off the bar stool and landed hard on the pool cue she was holding. Oh my god. He fired a weapon before it was the kickback. It kicked back so hard he tripped and fell out of his dad's 20 story window. By the time he hit the ground, his head opened up like one of those Gallagher watermelons. All this commotion stirred awake his twin brother Clyde, who, as he told it to me, was in his bedroom catching some Z's when all this went down. By the time he got his bearing, he swear to burn it down before it caused any more ruckus. He swears it's haunted. Believes it is the nexus of all evil in the universe. You buy into any of this shit? Fuck no, man. I'm too broke to be superstitious. I'm too broke to be superstitious. Money's gonna be the deciding factor in all this, and it's gonna need to be a whole lot to bring me back in. That's the thing, man. In a way, this pays everything. That's a story for another time. That's a story for another time. Okay. Very interesting scene. I think about that night when we became gods. That night. I want to know what happened. Like he said, it's not safe, not on the phone. I'm not gonna let you make me prisoner of my own paranoia again. You gonna talk to him? I delivered. It's not my fault he's Looney Tunes. He really expects me to believe this? He's Looney Tunes? Five really Nine Attack was shot dead at a bar in Manhattan. Suspected murder surrendered at the scene. The alleged gunman was the But it won't. Just 
just don't know why you can't send me. Oh. You ain't even what I is. Just comes and goes, goes and comes. Hey, the yeah. Smart, smart. The tweezers for the uh for the roaches. It's very smart. Rome? Oh no. What the fuck? What the fuck, dude? That didn't look like suicide. That looked That looked like murder and then they destroyed his Maybe. I don't know. I swear the only way I'm getting through this is having breakfast with you. That's one again. This could be that year. Yeah, I know. I know, I know, I know, I know. Neither, you dig? Let's go. What problem are you trying to solve anyway, man? How do I tell him that someone I cared about died? Tell him. Fine. No, oh, my God. Don't listen to him. What do you think that's going to accomplish exactly? It's not morphine. It's Adderall. Ah. This is your fault. All of it. Elliot, not in public right now, man. Now it's time to get rid of you. No, 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 no. <laughs> Elliot, no. Elliot, no! Popping pills like candy. Do you have a moment, Mr. Alderson? Is this the FBI? Did Gideon wrap me up? Lost my money and mind. Did anyone see you? Just his mom. What did you want me to do? She was upstairs. That's gonna look like you did it, man, if you did nothing about it. No. No! No! your system good boy that's it get those shitty pills out of your system oh my god what, what the fuck <laughs> oh my god that's wow you will cooperate my son i will make you because i own you <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I can't watch that. I can't watch that. I can't, I can't. I can't watch that. Ah. I will not be owned. It's a good metaphor right there. Why does he have that poster? It's all wrong. I want to do Fox instead of Bloomberg. No pre-interview, and I want final approval of all questions beforehand. <laughs> and uh, yes, you're right. Bloomberg. It's more appropriate. We'll stick with that. Thank you. Sir. Even though Bloom Bloomberg's corrupt as well, it's all the same. 
I've noticed you always look at that before you leave my office. Perhaps you find it as fascinating as I do. What are they doing? Oh, it's forensics. We found his desktop unlocked. Uh, once we're done analyzing it, we'll send over a full report. Did you have them check if the ports are modified at all before using them? Oh, shit. Fucking dumbasses. I really talked to your doctor about getting a Z pack. You really shouldn't be out here infecting a whole unit. It's very irresponsible of you. This is before COVID, too. Somebody hears that, oh, that's bullshit, brother. I can get sick. I can spread it. That's all I want to do. I want to spread the sickness. If they wanted us dead, we'd be dead already. Besides, if you're just going to end up in Arizona, then being dead isn't that much of a downgrade. Uh-huh. And what do you suggest we do? Then? True. At least it's not Ohio. I'm up to about 200 milligrams now, but that's not the secret. He's gone. You heard me? He's gone. But what's gonna happen when you run out, Elliot? He had a What a sequence, dude. Oh, that, oh, uh, 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 I love that. I love that. Drugs, baby, mental illness, schizophrenia. You this is like the me. shit I need. Alexa, when is the end of the world? The post not clarity. I guess I couldn't avoid Gideon's death after all. My dam of guilt is finally cracking. I want to cry, but I'm so high that I can't. Oh. oh. How about the racist, sexist, phobia soup we've all been drowning in because of him? Here we go. Here we go. Afraid to believe the truth. That there's no order, there's no power, that all religions are just metastasizing mind worms meant to divide us so it's easier to rule us by the charlatans that want to run us. Uh, he's speaking facts. You look at him like he's crazy, but he's speaking. These men, their lives will be destroyed. But the minute you remove emotion, ah, oh, fuck! What a great episode! Best episode of the season, obviously. Um, maybe, maybe, just maybe, one of my favorite episodes of the whole show. That was great. That was, oh my god, dude! That was fucking fantastic. If I'm gonna be completely honest. That was fantastic. We have the beginning, that moment with Rome, Romeo, and and uh, fucking chubby boy, fucking whatever his name is, I don't remember. Um, well, uh, pretty much him bringing Romeo in, and them talking about Elliot, and what they're going to do and and then boom next thing we know Romeo's dead who killed him who was it I mean the theories you have the dark army who could be taking each member of F society out one by one I don't think so you have somebody he was just selling drugs to and something got out of hand. The FBI. Or he just killed himself. Plausible theories. I think the more likely one is maybe the Dark Army. I can see the Dark Army. But then again, they... Uh, 
I don't think they would know him unless they know a lot that they shouldn't know. But them being the best hacker group, yeah. Um, found out that Ray is is, is a schizo. Talks to his dead wife. He fully embraces it, and he goes along with his day. He's, he, I love him talking about how you need to continue to fall, fall, and just go along with it. And Elliot's like, okay, fix the code. Go with it until there's another flaw. So it seems like he's just going to run with it. Maybe do things that he says, whether it be good or bad. Who knows? Elliot was taking Adderall this episode. He wanted to get rid of Mr. Robot. He, he didn't want to see him. He wanted him gone. That whole scene, that sequence of Elliot taking the Adderall and Mr. Robot not wanting it to happen. And that whole scene with the FBI, that whole just trip hallucination that Mr. Robot created practically. The FBI taking him. The man in black. The men in black. Stuffing, I'm guessing, concrete down his throat, but that was just him. That was Mr. Robot himself trying to puke it all up inside of Elliot's mind and making him puke it all up. And then the scene I could barely even look at literally made me gag. I almost puked. That shit was disgusting. Was, was him throwing it up. That was awful. That was nasty. That was dis that No. No. No, 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 no. I could not. And then when he started grabbing it, oh my god. That was awful. That was god awful. I mean, the whole sequence was great, but I can't, I can't watch that, dude. Something about puke, it makes me puke. And that is, that was, yikes. Angela, saw a little bit more here this episode. She's embracing herself. And... You know, I, 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 I'm enjoying the new Angela. We'll see how it goes. You know what I mean? We'll see how it goes. But. Is she going to rat out Jim and Saul? Or is she going to. Keep getting more, more and more up in the, uh, in that ladder. In the corporate ladder. Is she going to keep climbing it? Is she going to be opposite of Elliot? Elliot's like literally down in the dumps. While she's all the way at the top. With not no intent to take it down. Even though she kind of original. Her original intent, intent was to take it down. Maybe she's still going with it. She's just masking herself. Which is what we've heard talked about a lot. She's masking herself for this corporation. To eventually take it over or destroy it from 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 inside. So I don't know. I don't know. We saw a little, or not saw, but heard a little bit of Tyrell this episode. Where is he? I have my theory. I think Tyrell's been in his mind this whole time. I was thinking about the scene of Tyrell. And and Mr. Robot talking in the car that one time in the van. I could see them both being in Elliot's mind. I could see it. I, I most definitely could. Or Tyrell's just, I mean, he's he committed murder. And he's hiding. I think that would make more sense, right? That would make way much more sense. Because the scenes with with uh Joanna and and Scott and scenes with not Elliot but just Tyrell, like I think it makes enough sense that it like he's not in his mind, but who knows with the show because there was the I mean that FBI scene of him being captured, Elliot being captured. I thought that was real for a second. I did. So, who knows what the fuck is real is not. 
We saw a little more of that Dominique chick from the FBI. I like her. I like her. See, I'm I'm very, you know, I don't like the CIA. I don't like the FBI. I hate corporations, the government, uh, the the economic system of the United States. I hate it all. They're all feds. They're all shitty, corrupt, whatever. But there's something about her that, I mean, they made you feel sympathy and relate to her. I mean, you had that scene of her just laying down, watching some, like, 90-day fiancé type shit. Or, and then she was talking to some chatter online, having e-sex practically and just, you know, masturbating that way. Which, I could say, we probably all related to. It's one of the best, it, it is, but it, it's depressing after. She was just like, ah, when does the world end? Like, I get it. The post-nut clarity in that type of situation, or any situation when you're doing the deed, like, when you're done, you're done. Your life, in that moment, you're just like, I am a disgusting human being. I shouldn't be alive. Uh, like, every, every sort of wave of emotion hits. You finally get over it. And you move along. But it's something we can all relate to. <laughs> it's something we can relate to. Um, whether, I don't know, maybe maybe you don't relate to that kind of stuff. Because maybe you are you just don't do it. Good for you. I mean, I wish I could be that way. Um, so, I mean, I'm liking when they're going with her character. She can roll joints fairly well. I mean, that did look good. It looked like a clean roll. Nice and tight. <clears throat> Not too tight. But it, it looked like it hit perfectly. Good for her. So she's relatable in that way. She's kind of fine as fuck, too. I'm not going to lie. She's really, like... I don't know. There's something about her. Maybe it's the fact that she's a redhead. I, I like redheads. I like all sorts of people. Maybe that's my thing. I just... I like redheads. I like brunettes. I like blondes. I like men. <laughs> I, like, <laughs> I don't know. But I love, I loved, loved, loved that scene with the church group. Elliot and, and pretty much that Mr. Robot persona took over and just went full out, like, red pill, truth, everything. And that's the kind of truth that's real. I mean, you could take, like, most red pill people are very religious Christians, you know what I mean? But that is the true red pill. I don't want to call it the blue or the red pill. I'll call it the blue pill. Because the blue pill is actual truth. Besides the fact that being the blue pill meaning that you're just stagnant in reality. I get the meaning, but let's make the red pill and the blue pill two different truths of the same thing. They're both hinting at one thing, but they both separate when it comes to uh, it's weird. It's like a genre. It's like different subgenres in red pill and blue pills. It's very weird. Um, but that scene, I mean, why would these, I'm not even crazy enough to believe in that kind of delusion, you know, with God and everything. Like if there's a God, why are these countless wars going on? Why are innocent people dying? Why do these things happen? Why is Elliot himself going mentally insane? Thanks God. We appreciate you. You're such a good God. And if you don't follow me. Even if you're a horrible or a great person and you don't follow me and believe me, you're going to hell. But if you're a really bad person, but you do trust in Jesus Christ, but you're still a really bad person, you're fine. So, you know, maybe hell is just the best place to go. Maybe. Maybe that's where the parties are. You know, I, I see the Bible as metaphorical. So, heaven could be the real hell, and, and hell is actually just the vibes. You get to do whatever you want. <laughs> you know what I mean? Sex. Sex. Whatever I think of hell, I just think of an orgy. I don't know if that's just because I'm severely, uh, uh, what's the word, chronically online. And, like, just the, the, the takes that I'll have or the thoughts that I have just are, like, what? But, like, whenever I think of hell, and, like, I don't think of it as, like, like a devilish, like, oh, my God, this place is horrible. You're suffered to torment forever. I see it as, like, where sin goes and, like, you see things like, like sex before marriage, premarital sex or whatever is a sin. And, you know, home, 
a homosexual homosexuality is a sin, which if if that's where they go, I will be with them. Okay, the sex havers, the homosexuals, the the gamers. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know. The drug the drug users, weed users, DMT, ayahuasca, LSD, shrooms. If it's all gonna be in hell, sign me up. All right. But the scene with Adderall. The moment where everything is is going away for Elliot, you know, the the moment where that fear's coming in and it just gets all distorted and like kind of lagging and and tripping a little bit and like the music and the sounds in the episode went along with it and that's how your brain will feel in certain moments like that, which. I could relate to, not on Adderall, because I'm not an Adderall user. I don't really take pills. Or not really, I don't at all. The only time I did was Hydros for my uh, wisdom teeth being taken out. But, when it comes to, like, psychedelics, like, like lysergic acid diethylamide, um, which I do not condone, I don't think anybody should do it. Um, and, you know, you, you'll have those moments where... You're, you're staring at whatever. You got music in the background. Like, say I'm staring at my blinds right in front of me. You know? There'll be a moment where the music will, like, static out and, like, be all... Like, you'll... It'll, you, it's so hard to explain. Like, I sound crazy. But, like, everything just gets all distorted. And your eye vis your vision and everything just gets all, like, blocky. And, and kind of how it looked in this. Like, it's very... It's 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 amazing. It is amazing, and I mean that that in and of itself, like I like I said, I don't condone it. I don't think anybody should do it. But there's something special by psychedelics, and I don't do LSD anymore. I'm low key terrified of it now because I I could go into a story time at some point in my life about it or at some point on this channel. I mean, let me. I'll just say I overdid it. You know, I overdid it, and. That's why I don't do it. And I could, you, you could uh, perceive it how you want. What do you mean by overdid it? Did you just have a, tr like, did you just not stop tripping? No. And yes, to a certain extent. Visually and headspace wise, it was like very lower scaled. I almost felt literally like I was in psychosis. I was delusional at times. That's why I can relate to the way Elliot feels about certain realizations and the way certain things play out and how he reacts to it like was that real did that actually happen like shit like that like i'm not saying i went full-blown schizo and saw somebody that shouldn't be there or anything or heard something like that it was mainly just the thoughts in my mind and the delusions that i created in my mind that made me had certain real realizations that oh that thing i thought was was actually like set in stone oh this person feels this way or oh this thing happened another way, or, you know. However, like, you you create delusions, and it, it's not good. But shrooms, on the other hand, creates love. It creates peace within yourself. You battle your inner demons on shrooms, and you come out a new man, and a reinforced man. And that's what I love about those kind of things as well. But Adderall, on the other hand, I don't know. It, I mean, I... I don't know. I personally, like I said, I'm not into pills. I'm not into, like, black market. I'm not trusting it. Nope. Ever. No. Um, but. I'm not diagnosed with any sort of, you know, ADD, ADHD, you know, um, Asperger's, anything like that. But I have maybe deluded myself or not or just whatever. But I feel like I have ADHD or ADD. Like I'm very not good at uh, multitasking. I can only hyper focus on one thing. Like sometimes when it comes to like making videos, like I will wait and procrastinate forever and hyper focus on one small thing before I even start doing the YouTube shit and my mind will just completely ignore it until I have to do it. I don't know. Maybe that's just me being me and me being lazy. I don't know how to justify it. 
but nonetheless. Um, but damn. Shit's going crazy. Shit's hitting the fan. F Society, Dominique found F Society, and probably where they're, and are they going to go down? Is the FBI going to figure it out? Are they smart enough to not leave anything at the, at the arcade? I don't know. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Um, man. It was a great episode. I enjoyed it a lot. I really did. This was, this was a lot of fun. And I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. If you did, please like, favorite, subscribe, hit the notification bell for daily videos every single day. Follow me on Twitter, Twitch, TikTok, and Instagram, and all the social medias down in the description below. And we'll catch you for another video.